Yeah, I think, you know, we uh, everybody talks about who's their coach and who's coaching who and all this stuff. And I think coaches are important. I think you need somebody that uh, give you some type of direction. But I would take training partners any day. I've said that several yeah. times. I'd take good training partners over a, a great coach any day. <laughs> After the episode, head over to iTunes or the Apple Podcast app if you have an iPhone or the Stitcher app if you have an Android device for an exclusive audio-only episode featuring two-thirds of the women of freedom, a.k.a. the Wolfpack, a.k.a. the ladies on Team Mayhem Freedom. That's Lindy Barber and Ellie Kabord. It's epic. Go listen. While you're there, go ahead and subscribe and leave us a five-star review. We really appreciate that. Enjoy. Head over to ShrugStrengthTest.com and take our free three-day strength test. We'll send you three days of testing that takes about half an hour to about an hour each day. Each day you'll get exercises that we're gonna walk you through, showing you step by step what to do. Once you finish the test, submit your results and then we'll send you a bunch of feedback showing you where we think you could be stronger and then how to fix certain weaknesses that you might have found. Head over to shrugstrengthtest.com to get started. I think, yeah, so I am starting to downregulate right now. I'm getting tired. You're getting tired? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We kind of well, had, yeah, yeah, kind of had a blowout earlier. You did have, I got a little out of hand. Got a little out of hand. <laughs> sure. Several I'll do trap what you steps. Do today. We'll, yeah. we'll talk, we'll tell, what'd y'all do? Tell us about what y'all did. Well, he was supposed to do what I did today. He technically didn't. He did it a little bit faster than I who, did, but who, it was, rich? uh, it was clean and jerk, 380 pounds for time. <laughs> uh, for time. <laughs> and he won by a couple of minutes, probably like 15 minutes. I finally Maybe. got it, but he yeah. finally got it too. Yeah, yeah we both cle- uh, PR'd our clean and jerk today. Good day. Yay! We're going to clean and jerk, and then we're going to do some cleans after that. Clusters. So do I need to fold it down anymore? Using no. clusters, he means sets of three, basically. Is. Triples with long rest. Come on, Rich. Let's go, Rick. Nice. Up. There. Our car's down. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what happens when you train with me. I did that for him. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a PR? Yeah. 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 After we swam, we both swam today. I swam a little bit. I swam like swam. a quarter of you what y'all swam. did. I did probably like 500 yeah, meters total. But you're also not used to the volume that we swim. So I did. I did way more kicking today than I have ever done in my oh, life. Oh yeah, kicking. Sucks. And my hip flexors were pretty tired. How oh, much did gosh. y'all swim today? Uh, I think it was like 2,000 yards. I think we were in a yard pool. 2,000 yards. Is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually okay. it's around what we swim is 2,000, whatever pool we're in. Yeah. Cause I know I got in that pool and and we just what what is what is like the the cross section of that I'd of say that you, pool? <laughs> you were probably doing like twenty yard uh, oh, intervals, twenty fives maybe. Yeah, because one maybe. one trip down. Dude, just... I was so fired up when I saw you hop <laughs> in. Good? Aren't you glad you tried? Yeah, I'm glad I tried. Yeah, it was it was definitely a lot. What I was doing before, uh, that was not swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. You're surviving. Yeah, That's yeah, all that matters. That, yeah, oh yeah, I don't, I don't swim. I survive. It's all surviving. Yeah. Well, you look fine. Yeah, you catching up too. Yeah. No. Well, we, we were talking Especially about, the kick. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, well, later after we saw and and the, when you were on that paddle board, you were kicking. I'm terrible. Yeah. It, terrible. Well, that kick is hard. <laughs> yeah, you're terrible. No. Terrible. Wait a minute. Before we start he, talking too much, let's just at least tell everyone who's listening yeah, who, who these people who are. on here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Barbell Shrug. I'm your host, Mike McGoldrick, here with Alex Macklin. Yo. And as always, CTP behind the camera. And we're here in Cookville, Tennessee, in the original Fronings barn. With our special guest today, Rich Froning hey. and Angelo DeChico. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have been here for a couple of days and we've done a c- bunch of cool interviews, but I'm really excited about this one because Angelo is something special. 
He's the first 16-year-old that we've ever interviewed. <laughs> so with that said, why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself and why we're interviewing you? Uh, I won the CrossFit Games for the 14-15 teen division last year. Yeah, Ooh. the first time they had a teen division, I won that. And then I guess here I am. I love how he just comes out and just says it because we've, hey. we've, hey. we've had guests on the show that they just want to talk about, well, you know, first I started off with this. They don't want to talk about their accolades. <laughs> and then this dude's like, yeah, I won the CrossFit Games yeah, as a teenager. Yeah. Get and and – by no means that we mean to put you on the spot like that, no. but thank you for telling people yeah, that. But also, <laughs> get it out. he's a cool dude, man. He's, yeah. he's he's more mature than I am. He's been on this earth half the time <laughs> that I have. Some days he's more and he's won the CrossFit you. Games far more many times than I ever will. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, man, glad to have you. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe you. a little bit more. Like, like how'd you got how'd you get into CrossFit? Um, he, him, and Dan Bailey came to my middle school and. They ran us through a little workout, and I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was the what what kind of started it. That's funny. after after that, I uh, I asked him. I go, hey, is there any way I can come join your gym? And he goes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got an intro class. You can come take the intro class. And he goes, I think we'll have a teen teen class soon. And so I did that. I went to the intro class, and then after probably about eight, maybe almost a year, mm -hmm. then they had the teens class, and then so I was doing that for a while. How but, old were you when you first did that first workout? When Rich came to your gym? 12 or 13. So you were yeah, 12, 13 or years old. Just, yeah, just 13, I think. Yeah. What yeah. did we make you do? It was, it was like, I think it was, it was on the basketball court. Yeah, I you go, that part. it was like, go to the middle. I think you go to the middle and you do, I think it was a warm up. You go, you do some burpees, you come back, you tag your partner, they go. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we played a game. I think we played like dodgeball or maybe, maybe handball, something like that. And yeah. Then, and you get out, every time you get out, you do five push ups and then, Every time you get out uh, more, you do five extra push-ups. So you do five, ten, until you're done. Oh, okay. It gotcha. was only like it was only like three or five minutes. It wasn't long. Did so, you play any sports before you started doing CrossFit? Uh, ran cross country and then played a year of lacrosse in there. Gotcha. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. And you said earlier that <coughs> you lo that lacrosse is your favorite sport. Oh yeah, yeah lacrosse yeah. is fun. Uh, yeah. I still love it. I w I wish I could do it competitively, but I like I like this a lot like more. Than, uh -huh. Yeah, I like this a lot more than lacrosse. Yeah. So when you did this first like workout, did you was it easy for you or was it hard? Like how was it? How did you feel? There was running in it, so I was happy. But yeah. it, was, it, was, it was like a little bit of running, so I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'm like, yeah. hopefully there's a lot of running in this. And were you just were you just like beasting everybody else in your, in in the in the school? No, like, I was okay. probably a solid. Soaking wet, I was probably 115. Oh, so, yeah. So I was tiny, yeah, so yeah. tiny, and so no, I was not. I was not an athlete by any yeah. means but, at all. But were you like beating everybody else in the class? Like, did you know that you were at a higher level than everybody else? Or no, not really. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh -huh. um, now, when you started, did you get into this with the intention of uh, competing, or did you just like the workouts and want to have fun and you know something different? Uh, it was just because I liked I liked doing. Uh, I like doing cross country because it was mm -hmm. endurance sport, and I knew I wanted to lift weights. I wanted to get a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. so I started doing that for a little bit, and then after that, I found CrossFit and then started doing that because yeah. it kind of mixed the two pretty good. Yeah, I keep that endurance. I could lift weights and have fun with it. Yeah, and yeah, I didn't think about doing it as a sport at all. Gotcha. Because when I was your age, I, I mean, maybe if CrossFit was around, I would have probably done it and enjoyed it as a sport. But but I don't know. I liked I liked to play a lot of sports, and I I liked some things in the weight room. I hated running and things like that. And I liked I liked to lift weights, but I I never would have thought that I would have tried to pick up exercising as a sport. Yeah, for sure. Well, you know, it didn't was, exist when we were in high school. I know. I was just saying. So I don't know if it did. So, yeah. If I would have or not. Yeah. You know, yeah. But yeah. Uh, funny but, funny story actually. Uh, the last year, Angelo signed up in the open in the open division like he wasn't going to do the teen he's like that's stupid you know if i finish if i because we knew he was pretty good and so we were like you need to there's a teen division you should sign up in the teen division he's like no you know there's not going to be any chance for me to do anything after so what's the point in doing it because they hadn't announced that they were doing the mm -hmm. games we're like angelo you should just just do the teen like there's no point in you getting like 30th, 30,000th yeah. place or something. Yeah. 30th. Like, if I would have got 30th, <laughs> I would have been ecstatic. <laughs> and so finally, I think you actually registered twice. You registered yeah. in the open in the open division and then also in the teen. Yeah, I, then, didn't, I didn't even decide to do the teen division until Sunday yeah. of the first week. And then so he signed up, and then after it, they announced they were doing a, the teen games. And I was like, aren't yeah. you glad you listened, dude? He was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, very cool. When, so go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was going to ask, uh, when he came in the gym – Rich, did you recognize his talent? Um, I wasn't really there in the the beginning of when he first started working out with us. Darren, you know, 
does most of the coaching there. So um, I remember hearing about him and hearing how we had to like either kick him out of the gym because he would just hang out all day <laughs> or, uh, you know, when we would be there and he would be with us, um, we'd kind of like, get this kid out of here. What's yeah. he doing? But yeah. no, he's a good kid. And uh, we they really had to like dial him back from the beginning. He just wanted to, you know, lift as heavy as he could mm-hmm. and yeah. and do everything. And we were kind of like, all right, let's 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 make sure you're doing stuff right before we, yeah. we let you, you vet harped on him for what a year she wouldn't mm-hmm. let him use anything oh, yeah. more if that's than your uh, your gym manager yeah yeah okay. she runs a gym she wouldn't let him use anything more than 95 pounds right for like a long time a yeah. year year yeah. and a half i did and so it, it yeah. i mean and it worked i mean i think it yeah. you know paid yeah. dividends and oh, making yeah, sure he sure. did stuff right yeah, instead yeah. of just trying to get stuff heavy you learn yeah. how to move yeah, oh, yeah you definitely. move really well yeah, yeah. It, it took a little while yeah it wasn't a good mover at the beginning and just a lot of 95 pounds on the minute yeah just mm-hmm. do a few on the minute that's helped a lot yeah you, you for for as young as you are like I watched some of your uh, you snatching and cleaning and jerking. Yeah. Like you move really, really yeah. well. Yeah, I um, tried to. Yeah, what's some of your best uh, clean, snatch, clean and jerk? Snatch two thirty five, almost yeah. two forty five. Yeah, I did that workout the other day. You almost <laughs> got then, it. And then two seventy five clean and jerk. Yeah. And yeah, at sixteen, at sixteen, seventeen yeah. years old, it's really yeah. strong. Yeah, it was very strong. Doing that at sixteen or so. How how tall are you? About five ten. Yeah. And, and how long have you lifted weights? Uh, for real, probably a year and a half, maybe okay, two well, years. So you still seem pretty tall. It's not stunting your growth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at see, all. He see that people? He's not <laughs> stunting his growth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Rich, when did you kind of take him kind of under your, your um, tutelage? I'd say in the last year or so, probably. You know, we kind of when he could start driving, we didn't have to like pull him around everywhere. Yeah, so yeah. that was you know it's kind of tough because you're like, uh, what's you know. I don't want to go pick him up mm-hmm. from the house, but he hung out at the gym all the time with Darren and all those guys. And I guess I'd say really in the last year or so, we've yeah. really been like, all right, Angelo, come on, come hang out with us. He's on yeah. the text thread with us every day and tries to skip out on the, the swimming and running sometimes. <laughs> so uh, we have Sprinting. to make him do it. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I want to ask a little bit about, you know, the, the ability to do this as, as much as you are. So yeah. most kids are in school. Yeah. Um, you're training a lot. Do you do, you do homeschool? Do you go to high school? Like what's the word? Homeschooled, yeah, this year's my first year homeschool. I have a lady in town who has helped me through the whole thing. She homeschooled her daughter. Mm-hmm. She's a teacher at the community college here, and so she's been a huge help in teaching us how to do it and not letting me get behind. Yeah. And that way I stay on track. So I have a schedule to where I can see I'm going to finish here, I'm going to finish here. So like where I'm going to finish everything so I'm not falling off track and I'm not – getting behind because i don't want to i don't want to graduate sure. on 30 he doesn't do anything school-wise <laughs> <laughs> i hear that all the time just enough just enough well how many times a day do you train um on the regular all day until 5 <laughs> 30 yeah 5 30 and then 9 30 to 5 30 yeah like, a couple times in there yeah interesting so you'll do like some from from 5 30 to 9 30 at night is that what you're saying? Or from nine thirty to five thirty. Yeah, oh, nine thirty. Okay, sorry, to nine five thirty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so probably maybe three, four times a day, like workouts, training typically. Yeah. 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 There well, we go. Somewhere in there. A question I have is, um, now you talked about for a couple of years, you know, you had Yvette kind of yeah. making sure that you know you were learning things correctly, and Rich was there as well. Um, but now that you know you're pretty proficient in the movements and the training yeah. volumes high, and you've won the games, you're training with the big dogs daily. Um, do you dial things back or do you just keep up with what you can, you know, like how do you control that? You know, cause you're doing, you're going to be doing the teenage workouts for a couple more years. Yeah. And then I, I, I'm not going to guess that you want to keep going to the next level and, you know, get to the games and so forth. So are you like training for that now? Or are you training for the workouts that you're presented with now? Train. I don't know. I train, I do usually the stuff that they do and then. If there's anything that I really need to work on, then I do. I try to do that instead. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I just focus on the things that I think I need to focus on. Just regular training. Focus on the weaknesses. Yeah. Make the yeah. strength stronger. Or you yeah. just do what I Rich he, tells I you. I think he's doing a lot of CrossFit, and yeah. he's getting better at CrossFit. <laughs> and sure. Yeah. When he's a teen, the weights will be a little bit different. Um, mm-hmm. He's getting as strong as he can, but also getting as fit as he can. I mean, I think there's going to be transfer over in that. You know, I don't think you can really look at it and say, oh, where are we getting him ready for the teen games right. versus the CrossFit games? We're just getting him ready for CrossFit. Yeah, I, th- I was more like just trying to figure out is it the weights? Like, right. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, no, is I mean, he doing regional workout weights? Like, uh, just some depends. Them, yes. Sometimes, you know, like if we we know like a certain workout, if it's a team workout, mm-hmm. half the time he jumps in and just does whatever we do. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's a, an individual type workout, we'll dial the weight back. And even like if it's a heavy yeah. individual or a team workout, sometimes we'll have a separate barbell for him. Yeah. Like we know like. 
you know what stimulus you want from a certain workout. We're right. trying to get the same out of him. Got it. And so yeah, we did that snatch workout the other day, and that was heavy. He went up from what did it start at 180, 155. 155, 30 reps. Yeah. 185, 24 reps. 205, 205 18, yeah, yeah, you know, you were doing it the whole way. So mm. strong, man. Yeah. Thank and, you. And Rich, do you uh, do you program? I guess so. Now you're on a team, mm-hmm. and you do team workouts. Do you program for your team? Uh, we all kind of just program together. I don't mm-hmm. think there's any one person that does all the programming. Um, and we, we're not always doing team workouts. Like mm-hmm. there's, we do a lot of individual workouts because mm-hmm. there's individual parts of what we do. You know, like last year there was a couple. Mm-hmm. Um, you were by yourself. You're a sprint type workout. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, we all just kind of when we're together, we program together, and when we're apart. Everybody kind of does their own thing, and everybody knows what their strengths and weaknesses are and they need to work on. But if we're together, everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And when you do program, do you take into account everybody's weaknesses uh, and try to tackle those? A or? little bit, but, yeah. I mean, you got six people. Right. And so, you don't – I mean, everybody's going to have a different strength and weakness. Um, so, it's kind of it – kind of every workout or, if you know, over a, a day or over mm-hmm. a couple of days, you'll hit everybody's – um, strength and weakness. So I think, you know, as a team, we have a few things that all of us could, or most of us could work on. Um, yep. You know, a lot of us, Matt and Kristen are really good at running. Uh, the rest of us need to run a little bit more frequently. Yep. Um, a few of us are really good at swimming and some others could need to work on that. You know, like some of the, you know, Kristen's not the strongest, so she's working on that. And mm-hmm. so, you know, there's just, everybody's working on something they have and they know what that is. So they kind of do that on their own. Yeah. When we're together, we just kind of, whatever we throw up there, we just all do. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I saw you guys. Like when we came in the other day, uh, it's like y'all were brainstorming. Okay, what are we gonna do today? <laughs> yeah, that's literally how it is every day, most days. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, our strength stuff, depending on you know, we've been doing that what we call squ- squats by Dre, but basically small off. And uh, <laughs> that's awesome. And uh, it squat s- seems to be working. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? yeah. What, yeah. what is that? Can I explain that? How yeah, that works? Yeah. So I don't, I don't even know how Dre's sitting over here. He I don't know how he came up with it. But, oh, um, you, that's his. That's, that's his magic. That's squat by Dre. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Squats by Dre. And so one day he decided he was bad at front squats, so he started wanted to start working on front squats. But he also wanted to incorporate cleans. And so basically, <laughs> you you take the Smoloff Junior calculator and you go the six by six. Um, you would do one by five, so one clean plus five front squats. And then you do two, two plus four, three plus three. And mm-hmm. so on. Right, you do the same right. thing with all the different, you know, 70%, 75%, 80, mm-hmm. 85. And we don't do four days a week. We kind of do two days a mm-hmm. week or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're taking away a squat each taking time. Taking away a squat and okay. adding a clean. And, and adding a clean. Uh, who knows? Like and you were doing this with clean and jerks the other day, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we'll throw a jer- like on the lighter weights, we'll throw a jerk. You just add one jerk on there when you're fatigued. Yeah. Just kind of, you know, help a little bit. And with you've that. been doing this kind of for how long now? About six weeks, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Four, four to six weeks, something yeah. like that. And how's that? How do you I feel? feel? Like, I yeah. feel good. Um, I was talking to Mike about this the other day. You know, <laughs> just doing, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, think I clean, it, think clean, it's working. Yeah, yeah clean my clean – or PR my clean jerk. I was talking to Mike the other day. You know, we did CrossFit weightlifting for a long time, and mm-hmm. it did help a lot to hit the higher percentages and stuff like this. So this is a little bit lower percentage because we actually base the percentage off of 90% of our clean mm-hmm. um, or snatch, whatever we're doing. Mm-hmm. And so for what we're doing, the, the point we are in the year, it's like we need to be able to do reps – Right. at a certain weight instead of just always working for a, a heavy one rep. Because, I mean, how many times will you see a heavy one rep? Usually once in the games, once at regionals, mm-hmm. maybe in the open. Mm-hmm. And so that's really what percent of the workouts, not a high percentage. Right. So we want to be able to do reps. And, hey, if you get, you know, the stars align on a certain day and you hit a PR, that's great. But if you can do 315 for reps, that's what I'd rather take, you know. So yeah, yeah. just kind of depends. Yeah, for sure. Interesting. Yeah, and it's a it's – a, a lot of volume because I, I was watching I was watching and it's a lot it's of a lot of reps. volume but so, um I, I've liked it so far you know the I don't feel with the volume you know it's a little bit lower percentage like I said mm-hmm. um I'm not feeling as beat up like with when I was doing a lot of just like what we were doing mm-hmm. today we were doing that for a while and I just I felt like your yeah. just nervous well, system's fried. what are we doing today just for those that a lot of it. we do well we did quite a few heavy singles and then we backed it down to I don't even know what percentage was 315 of 380 a lot. Yeah. That's a high yeah. percentage. Don't ask yeah. us about math. Your dad was teaching oh, yeah, us right. about how to count <laughs> hey, how to count weight. We were doing math while we were treading water earlier, yeah. remember? And yeah. Seventy day. No, so it's <laughs> we ended uh, up doing fifteen total reps. Fifteen total reps. And so yeah. I mean that just it fries your nervous system. So um yeah. you know 
So I'm gonna sleep it's good a little tonight. bit different. Yeah. And Angelo, how do you how do you keep up with this type of training? Like, what do you like? How do you keep up with the the volume and the rec- and how do you recover? He's Sixteen. Uh, that's how he I sleeps know. and he <laughs> skips the run. I know. Man. Yeah. I, I wish sleep. I was back then. Oh man. I sleep when I have to. Yeah. I eat. I try to eat as much as I can. I yeah. I, I leave. I'll leave once or twice a day, and I'll go eat by myself because I need to eat. <laughs> These guys don't eat much. Do on they? the on the way from Just the eat your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> on the way home from the or. <laughs> When I was coming here from the swim, I stopped at Kroger and I got sushi because I was hungry. Yeah. So, and then, yeah. So I just eat a lot. Yeah. yeah. Eat a lot. Sleep. Gas mm-hmm. station. So you don't. You don't Gas like. Uh, do you? You don't. You don't even track how much you eat. Just. You're just going to eat. Till just you, eat till yeah. I'm full every time. Yeah. Just try I mean, not to be hungry. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah, try 16. not to be hungry. Yeah. Yeah. What about training wise? What are some things that you know are kind of a weakness or some things that you would not want to see come up and you're working on them right now? Um. Handstand push-ups had a lot, or strict handstand push-ups had a mm-hmm. lot of trouble with those. Don't know why. Mm-hmm. Just I do them all the time. Try Could to get better at them. Yeah, long arms. That might that might be it. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> Nothing else. I'm the fittest teenager on earth. I like it all. Yeah. No, I don't know. Um, I like squatting. Uh, going overhead. Yeah, just going overhead in general. Probably anything sure. overhead. I just don't like pressing. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have a ton of weakness. He's he's pretty pretty well rounded. He <laughs> well, runs he runs well. Um, I mean, you've only been swimming for a couple of months now, and he's not bad at swimming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not the greatest at kicking, but who is not good at kicking? Kicking yeah. sucks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I feel like I was going backwards hard. today. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have to kick a 150. I was like, come on. <laughs> yeah, what? that was a lot. I was going to ask, uh, wh- what's it like training with – you know, people older than you, and these, and especially, <laughs> especially these guys. I mean, Rich, fittest yeah. man on earth four times. Like, what's it like? I don't know. I've just gotten kind of used to it. It's just like yeah. training buddies. Just yeah. yeah. Just how how it usually is at a gym. You have training buddies, all different ages. Doesn't matter. So yeah, yeah there's a we have a couple of masters at the gym. I train with them a lot. So I'm just used to training with anybody, yeah. anyone who's willing to train. What we have were, you What have you learned from training with these with this crew? Um, nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Nothing. Train. I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I just do what I'm told. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I just I do what I'm told. Yeah. Train hard and. Uh yeah, just listen to them. Train hard. That's about it. Are you having fun? Tons of fun. Is every yeah. workout fun? Uh, not every workout. Not every this, workout. Morning, <laughs> this morning. This morning wasn't fun. There's a few. No, this morning was not fun. Yesterday was not fun. Running was yeah. not fun. Yesterday wasn't fun. Yeah. Yeah, we were kind of joking. We we're like, you know, Angelo, like what I, you know, growing up playing sports, like he's the, he's you. We were sitting there and we we're like, he's not getting the like the locker room, like you just those type of like yeah. um, experiences. But then yeah. we started thinking about it and I was like, we haze him pretty good. So. Yeah, this, <laughs> so, this I mean, is the locker room. So yeah, he's yeah. in the locker room. And yeah. then we were like, you, you sometimes you forget the kid's sixteen. You know, we're all almost thirty. Yeah, and he's hanging out with a bunch of thirty year olds. I I don't even know like when I was sixteen, I was old wasn't hanging out with 30 yeah, year olds no that's way. for sure but we're yeah. all actually like children too so you can't really say that <laughs> I, i'm being serious when i say he's more mature than i <laughs> yeah I'm, i agree it's not a joke same <laughs> yeah yeah have you learned anything from training with angelo um yeah oh, i think Angelo. Question. it's just like i said at 16 i wasn't um wasn't nearly as as strong or as fit well-rounded as he is so it's just kind of cool to um to to help him out and have him around and mm-hmm. and just to see the things that are possible at that age. I mean, you know, I never would have thought a sixteen yeah. year old could snatch two thirty five and still like yesterday running. He was running right there with us. So, yeah. um, it's pretty impressive. What do they have in the water here? That's what I want to know, man. Because <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> like, two CrossFit Games champions out of here, Cookville, yeah. Tennessee. I mean, uh, from being up here for several times and then you know a week already right now, um, the community you guys have. I mean, you guys are. Like, at the pool this morning, like, was, I can't get one or two people to come swim <laughs> with me back home. You guys had seven people there, and you guys were all doing the same workout. Mm-hmm. No one asked questions. They just did it. Yep. And, and even if it was too hard or not enough, you just kind of Adapted dealt with it. Through, yeah, yep. you, you adapt, you know. So, like, I see that here. It's like everyone's training so hard, and it's not, like, dumb training. Everyone's just getting better because, you know, you've got a team. You know, everyone's kind of following up with that. I think it's powerful. Yeah, I think, you know, we uh, – everybody talks about who's their coach and who's coaching who and all this stuff. And I think coaches are important. I think you need somebody that uh, give you some type of direction, but I would take training partners any day. I've said that several yeah. times. I'd take good training partners over a, a great coach any day, you know, I like couldn't agree more. Right. I mean, who's going to push you more than, you know, somebody else right there with you. Cause yeah. I mean, if you have somebody that's telling you what to do and you're not seeing them suffer, or they're not suffering with you. It's a little hard to be like, yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. You, you know, what are you doing here? Mm-hmm. So, um, 
I think yeah, like you I think you hit the nail on the head is is just having the good people around you, having the people that'll push you and uh, people you have fun with. You know, yeah. we like to hang out with with each other, so yeah. it's a good time. Did you always train with a bunch of people or, or did you usually train by yourself? I feel like we can, <laughs> we kind of like go in waves. You know, some days you like to just walk out to the garage, nobody there, mm-hmm. you don't have to push hard, like, you know, some of those days where you're just beat up a little bit but you want to move. Um you don't want somebody there. But uh, for the most part, I guess, yeah, I've always had people around me to push. Yeah. Um, now I feel like everybody's a lot more well-rounded, so they're pushing me in all different areas. I used to have different people that would, you know, certain people would push me in this area, somebody yeah. pushed me in this area, and somebody, you know, whatever it was, gymnastics, strength, or uh, just endurance stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's kind of funny that it, we kind of like, it was like a revolving door of people. You know, you had yeah. the morning crew that you know is is whoever and then the afternoon is a completely different crew and then those people sometimes would get burnt out because we trained a lot yeah and so we've kind of uh we've been through a few different cycles of people <laughs> mm-hmm. but we gotcha. have fun yeah. we have fun uh angela um do you have anyone your age you train with um or is it mostly this crew no it's just folks? mostly this crew yeah i had i had a couple, couple buddies who did it with me for a little while but no no one else yeah. did they get into it because of you no, they were in it, into it, and then we kind of met through CrossFit a little bit. We were mm-hmm. we went to the same high school, so we kind of talked a little bit. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, they just got. I mean, I don't know. I guess I just got a little more serious with it. Sure. I don't know why? No, I can I can just guess that there are other teenagers out there who are starting to get into competition and probably look up to you. Um, do you have anything you'd want to say, like to give them some advice, like anything that you that you've learned that you would want to share? I like the idea of the training partners. Yeah, the training yeah. partners. That's the biggest thing I think because I. Especially on the off season, I was I was training not by myself, but I wasn't training with people who were pushing me as hard, yeah. mm-hmm. and I could tell. And so once I started training with them, I could tell I was getting pushed harder. But yeah, just people who were willing to go hard and want to go hard with you like a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so huge. I mean, if you look at any any sport, especially in the strength world, like all the best weightlifters train together, all yeah. the best powerlifters train together. Why not all the best crossfitters? Yeah. All the best crossfitters train probably trained to right come here yeah. and train with you. Yeah. yeah, we do. We have quite a few people come around. And, yeah, you know, we just have fun. Like I said, we had we had bridges out here a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Fraser was here. Let's see, last like week? last week. Last week. Um, and so yeah, we just kind of. Yeah. Hey man, I mean, I just pee on my clean and jerk. That's right. Jerry, right. Like, hey. <laughs> something yeah. awesome. So um, we got Dre over there too, who's an extremely high level athlete. Yep. What place did he get in the open and going into regionals? Yep. Uh, what were you? Twenty seventh overall in the world, and then third in our region so yeah he's yeah. breeding them not a bad athlete yeah. and and, then, and uh, actually all the workouts were not wheelhouse workouts for him i mean yeah. he's a pretty mm-hmm. strong kid and they were all uh, most of the workouts in the open minus the second one um were all relatively the same workout body yeah. weight yeah. lightweight reps yeah. um gonna tell andre a little bit the the legend of andre um <laughs> the uh he did what was it the second workout yeah. he did the second workout twice in one day <laughs> no. Better. What'd you get? <laughs> Which four, one was that one? The clean? Three. 424 and 427. Oh, that was, 16, was that 16 too? 425 and 428. So the clean, so 315. Oh, yeah. He hit 315. Oh, he got to 315 and got into the 315 twice in one day. If the idiot would have waited till at least <laughs> Monday, he probably could have finished it. But he was dead set on doing it again that night. And hey, sometimes you try it seven times. You know? However, <laughs> I can't say much. I did event four four times twice in one day. I just want to get back to that freaking pull-up bar on the muscle-ups. but And then Dre also did 1,000 GHDs in 50 minutes. <laughs> Tell us that story. Didn't get rhabdo? <laughs> did not get rhabdo. I believe rhabdo is a myth. No, um, <laughs> one night, I don't I don't even remember how it started. We did a workout. It was like 100 GHDs and 100 push press at 75 pounds, something like that. And James and Dre were being stupid, and they are like, well, we could do 100 rounds of 10 and 10 back and forth or something like that. And Dre and uh, James goes, well, that's 1,000 GHDs. Dre goes, that's no problem. James goes, you think you could do 1,000 GHDs in an hour? Was that the deal? Something like that. He's like, yeah, you think yeah. you could do – or he goes, you think you could do 20 GHDs on the minute till 1,000? Dre goes, yeah, no problem. James goes, all right, I bet you $1,000 you can't do it. And so we have a text thread between all of us because they were roommates at the time. And uh, James told us all. He's like, Dre says he can do 1,000 GHDs and be fine. And so Hewitt's like, I'll take 200. I'll throw 200 on that. <laughs> oh, no. And I was like, dang it. I was like, Dre's really good at GHDs, and Dre's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so so he'll probably do it, but I don't want to look like a cheapskate, so I'll throw in 200. Yeah. Oh, no. Sure enough, one Saturday. $1,400 now? $1,400. 
<laughs> Don't Saturday. anybody get any ideas. Yeah, <laughs> right. One Saturday, he decided uh, to do 20 on the minute. Do what? Oh, he's the morning yeah, after was, he did yeah. 60 in the middle of the twice. open. Yeah. Yep. And so on Saturday, we're all lifting in the garage, and Dre just starts doing GHDs, and we're all just kind of like talking trash, trying to like make him laugh to make it hurt. Yeah. Around and then. Around 400, he goes, hey, Angel, go give me that belt. So straps, straps on a belt. belt. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the re- he finished finished it in 50 minutes. Wow. Every every round was about 40 seconds, do you think, for 50 minutes. <laughs> well, Dre, what are you going to spend your money on? He already did. He already blew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this man. goes to another story of Dre. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about this one, too. <laughs> Dre, uh, so Dre, how many times have you ridden a motorcycle? Did you buy a motorcycle? No, with he that? did not buy a motorcycle. So, so his buddy, he's Dre's from Illinois. Dre moved down here last January, and so his, he moved down with the buddy. His buddy ended up moving back to Illinois, mm-hmm. and uh, he, uh, his, his, it was this fall. Yeah, I guess it was this fall. Yeah, and uh, yeah. it was starting to get cold up there. So Dre's like, "Hey, John, let me borrow your. Uh, it's an on-road, off-road mm-hmm. enduro bike. It's a Yamaha 250 ZT, something like that." And so <laughs> John brings it down, lets Dre borrow the bike. Dre comes up here. What do you had it? Two days? Why don't we why don't we just give him the mic? <laughs> two days? <laughs> you wanna come talk? Two days. And so <laughs> he's Dre for the past two years <laughs> this is another story. Dre's needed shoulder surgery for the last two years. Uh-huh. He got torn labrum. So Dre just going to have an MRI on his shoulder, mm-hmm. takes off on the bike. I get a call from Darren. I said, he says, hey, we got to take Dre to the hospital. I said, what did he do? Oh, uh, no. They were, he was coming down the hill. Down the, He's already down the mountain, was going down the high 70 down there uh-huh. right before you get to that bridge. So if you've never ridden a motorcycle, what do you try to do? What was the first thing you want to do? Go fast. <laughs> <laughs> Is that See the how right fa- answer? See how fast it'll go, huh? <laughs> so I Dre's know, man. Going, that logic is kind of flawed in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Dre's going downhill, trying to see as fast as he could go. Starts to get a little speed wobble. Oh, if you no. if you've never ridden a bike, what do you do? You lay it down. You grab the brake. Oh. However, or ease off the gas is what you should do. Yep. He grabs the front brake. Oh. Dre okay. grabs the front brake, does a flip over the front of the bike. Oh. He probably landed on his feet and just going ran. Going seventy-seven miles an hour. Close. Does three f- somersaults. Darren and Jess just happen to be passing him. My cousin Darren. Oh, no. Just happens to be passing him as he does three flips, lands on his feet. Didn't have his helmet la- latched. His yeah, helmet goes you- flying off after he comes out of the flip, starts walking. The bike thrashed. He's road <laughs> rashed up. He had sweatpants on, ate through his sweatpants. Luckily, he had a, a backpack on, so it kind of saved his, mm-hmm. helped his fall a little bit. Had to go to the hospital. Me and Ellie had to go pick up the bike, bring it back up here. It's actually over there. We'll get a shot of that after but uh um so he ended up you separated your shoulder had to spend a night in a beautiful vanderbilt hospital Uh, and you did 16.3 right after that (laughs) yeah (laughs) Uh, that was a little before that and then so never told his buddy never told his buddy that he wrecked his bike his buddy came down once a couple months later dre's kind of like got these scars now that are you know, from Road Rash. And uh, his buddy's like, man, what is that? He's like, is that eczema? He's like, yeah, I got eczema. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your bike gave it to never, me. <laughs> never you told need to wash his, that thing. Never told his buddy until, what, two months ago? His friend came down, like, for a third or fourth time. And he's like, hey, man, I got to tell you something. <laughs> I wrecked your bike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so uh, I think that's – is that where part of your money went to? Or did you blow it on something else? Mostly towards hospital bills. <laughs> oh, and my so, gosh. So then Dre also wasn't going to – he was doing all the open workouts, did them all multiple times, and decided he wasn't going to regionals because he had to have shoulder surgery April 5th? First. Some, first. April 1st, 5th, something like that. And so finishes third in mm-hmm. our region. I was like, Dre, you're not having shoulder surgery. If you And snatched 265 with a torn labor. I'm like – Hmm. Let's wait till after regionals. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Let's just see what go see what happens. So he's on your team too? No, he's oh. individual. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah he he's uh, he'll be looking right. good. Yeah. He'll be all right. So about the team, um, we didn't even talk about it. like you you your team won the CrossFit Games yep. affiliate cup yep. last year. Like like how was that? Like it was fun. It was yeah. a good time. Yeah. We had fun. No, it wasn't. It was to be honest, it wasn't really expected. We were, uh, you know, we we knew we would fare well. I I was our plan. You know, mm-hmm. you always want to go into any competition wanting to win but we knew we had some holes and needed some stuff to work on but yeah um we were just there you know not to just mm-hmm. to have fun yeah you know we wanted a top 10 top five something like that and then 
just kind of slowly kept creeping up the leaderboard and uh, going into the final event we were in second and I was like hey might as well win this thing we're here so let's do it and <laughs> yeah. so it was a good time it was cool to actually you know share the win with other people instead yeah. of you know it's cool it's great to win the CrossFit Games as an individual but um, to see what everybody's sacrificed and and to work with people day in and day out and just to see the you know how happy it yeah. makes them it, it was a cool experience what's it like training with a team and doing a team oh uh, it's different it's um you know different personalities and you've mm -hmm. got to figure out how to motivate those different personalities and like i'm not very good with crying i'm horrible with crying <laughs> somebody starts to cry i can, I can see I'll, that like, seriously <laughs> like just kind of walk away yeah and so luckily you know james and matt are a little bit better a little bit more nurturing um, where I just kind of like get real awkward and just like you get all Jamie yeah. Dugan on him. Yeah, just kind of like walk away. You have this sign in your in your home garage gym. It's like the butt hurt free zone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So you know, it's just it's just different, man. It's um it's a different uh, a different animal, I mm -hmm. guess, is because you you and you're also on everybody else's schedule too. So it's right. like trying to figure out when certain people can train, and mm -hmm. and it's just um it's a it's a different animal yeah. but it's fun how do you fun. approach how do you approach train your or your own training now that you're with a team do you um more are still you still trying to, to be specialized the, uh, still no still trying yeah. to be the fittest individual that i can yeah um because i think you know with the games the way it has been the last couple of years i mean it's not you can't really specially i feel like in the first couple of years you could have like somebody that was really strong a male or female is really strong one that was really good at gymnastics and then kind of a, a, a jack of all trades i think now we're to the point where it's like everybody has to be well-rounded yeah mm -hmm. that most events are taking all six people mm -hmm. um in some way um yeah. you know so just be the the fittest individual that i can be and and yeah. work on the team find so. find other people fit that, individuals right. that's right exactly yep. yeah what were some of the so what was the lowest place you were in at the games as a team like 22nd something like that you know we started out well in the swim mm -hmm. we did not do so well on the one mile run um and then we had enough, another one or two events that were just not – didn't go real well, mm -hmm. not according to plan. Um, but, you know, we just kind of slowly kept creeping, slowly yeah. kept creeping. And then I think by day day three, I think we were fourth or fifth or something like that. And then yeah. just kept moving up. What kind of helped the momentum turn around? I think it was just like, you know, we pizza. were – Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. We mm -hmm. eat pizza. Um, no, I think it was just – for one, we're, we're pretty um, – we're used to the higher volume and everybody's kind of used to the just the the being feel, feeling like you're beat down on yeah. day three i guess yeah and so for us it's just a, another day where everybody else is kind of mm -hmm. you know you can tell it's starting to hit them a little bit but then also we never really got down on each other everybody was just you could see other teams there was kind of some inner struggle we never really you know things went bad it was like all right it when you see when you train with people like that day in and day out you know you know they're putting forth their forth their best effort mm -hmm. you yeah. know it's it's not lack of trying why we did bad on certain events it was just those events weren't good for us yeah, yeah. and so there's no reason to get upset there's nothing you can change there's nothing mm -hmm. you can do about it so it's like hey just on to the next event yeah. and so i think we did a good job of that where it was like all right we're not going to get down hey we know running was was not a good thing for us and um Let's just move on to the next event and try to make up some time. So it sounds like you kind of serve as the leader slash the coach of the of the team. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily. I say you know, everybody has their different um, different leadership roles. You know, like mm -hmm. like I said, Matt and James are more. They can they're more of the nurturing type. I'm more of the I just <laughs> lead by example type. Right. I'm not like a like a get in your face pep talk type of guy. Mm -hmm. I'm more yeah. of like hey let's let's go do this and I'll you know yeah. just sack it up yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, you know, and the girls are, are, you know, Ellie's are kind of our punching bag. Um, we make fun of a lot. <laughs> Ellie, you're first. Yeah. No, nothing stinks. <laughs> it's about winning, not looking cool. Don't choke me. I need to be alive. You got to visualize the pinata slap. All right, put the mask Instant on. decapitation. Put the mask on. That is like. Just put the mask on. <laughs> 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 All right, you ready? We're spinning around. <laughs> One. Hold on. Give me the stick. Yep, you're close. <laughs> you can't breathe!
she's the comic. If you go really. to the, if you go to his channel, you can see a lot of videos. Of, yeah, of yeah. Him. Well, didn't yeah, she make some weird Sonic. comment yesterday? Like uh, I can't remember what she was what she was saying, but it was just this obvious. Like really, you didn't yeah. know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's every day. Oh, I said, <laughs> does anyone have any floss? And she oh, said, yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. Um, I have some in my car. I, I can't leave home. I, I'm yeah. really crazy about keeping my teeth clean. <laughs> And we, we all looked like, at each other like, and, uh, not that kind of floss. <laughs> I think I think you were like, yeah, no, he meant voodoo go, floss. Ellie, no, I knew she was going to say dental floss. And I'm like, that's <laughs> not, I know Ellie does not have what you're talking about. Yeah. But she knows, too. She was laughing about yeah, it. It's funny. Just, yeah. She's just, she's Ellie. So, yeah, she's the comic relief. And then, you know, Kristen, Kristen's real straightforward. Mm-hmm. Whatever you tell her to do, she's going to do it. So yeah. it's, she's super easy to manage. And then Lindy's been the same way. She's just, I mean, all three of the girls actually are just, mm-hmm. hey. What do you need us to do, and we'll do it. And is everybody on your team now? Was that the team that you took to the games last um, year? Um, so we switched Lauren with Lindy. Lindy kind of okay. came, moved down here, and and uh, has stepped into to Lauren's position. And yeah. and Lauren did great for us. She was kind of a, not a last minute ad, but she stepped up last year when we had somebody that um, was going to be on the team decided not to be on the team. We mm-hmm. were kind of stuck, and so okay. she decided. We said, "Hey, Lauren, we need you," and she was like. All right, I'll do it. It's full time mom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 40, How old is Lauren? Forty one years old. Yeah. Full time mom, full time job. Wow. So Wow. Yeah. yeah so sure. she did well. Really well. Yeah. Do you feel like that uh now that you kinda have a team, um <clears throat> Maybe like what's because now you're you got a kid now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. a two year old, so. so how do you balance that? <laughs> uh it's but, actually a lot easier. Yeah, I was gonna say to to I'm I'm in a better place training wise where um I probably train out, train just as much. Maybe not as much, but close to as much. But when I'm done training, I'm done training. I'm not thinking about training. I'm mm-hmm. not, you know, that's not my number one priority. My number one priority is being a dad. And so uh, it's been really good to give me something else to, to think about and not yeah. be so, I mean. I mean, for, t- take some pressure off. Yeah, for years I've been obsessed with being the fittest man on earth. That was literally, you know, I woke up every day. That was that was my plan. That was what I wanted to do. And so now it's like, now I want to be a good dad. And so yeah. now, I wouldn't say CrossFit's more of a hobby, but it's, it's, it's still my job. But, um it's less stressful yeah for sure is that part of the reason why you kind of went to the team route yeah for sure you know i i didn't feel like i could give um competing as an individual as much attention yeah um as i would want to to be as competitive as i wanted to and then i also felt like um me trying to do that would take away from me being a dad and i didn't want to do that either so yeah. it's not fair for her and yeah. um uh, and and my wife you know i was wouldn't say I was a crappy husband, but I was not as present as I should be for a couple of years. Just because, I mean, you got to be selfish to be the best in the world at anything. You have to be selfish, um, absolutely, and you have to be a little obsessive. So, yeah. um, and how old is your daughter time? now? She's t- she'll be two in July, July seventh. Okay. So she is one hundred miles an hour. Um, <laughs> you, you, you follow me on Snapchat, you see that she's she's literally um, one hundred miles an hour from the time her feet hit the floor to the time she goes to sleep. Yeah, but she's fun. What's your Snapchat? Just for people who just want to follow you on Snapchat. I don't even know. I think it's like <laughs> Froning dot Rich or something like that. It's yeah. I, I don't know. I maybe we'll follow up on that yeah. one. Are you uh, are you fitter now? I'd say I'm more well rounded. Um, probably fitter for are sure. You're stronger. I'm stronger. Uh, <laughs> better at running. Better at swimming. PR just clean and jerk yeah. today. Yeah. Better at running. Better at swimming. Um, I think I'm fitter. Very cool. Uh, Angelo. Yeah. Sorry, I'm quiet over there for a minute. <laughs> got some questions for you. Um, yeah. Tell us about your games experience. Um, what it's like qualifying. Yeah. You know what what that step is for a teenager, and then you know what it's like actually being there and your last year experience and winning. Yeah. So we just go straight top ten in the fourteen fifteen division and the sixteen seventeen division. Just go straight to the games. So you get top ten, you're going to the games. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how it is for now. And I think. As it grows, they'll make a qualifier just because there's not as many kids sure. doing it right now as there is masters. Mm-hmm. So once we, yeah, once they see it grow, I think next year, if not next year, then the year after that, we'll definely have a qualifier or something like that. Cool. Just just because I think when it grows, it makes it more fair. Yeah. yeah. You need, you Angelo need actually thing. bumped up an age group this year too. So yeah, yeah I was gonna I was about to ask you about that. So h- how many people um, last year it was fourteen, fifteen? Yeah. Uh, how many teenagers do that? Do you know? No Not idea. Not an idea? Okay, no. so they take top 10 in the world, Yeah. and then you go to the game. So yep. you, there's 10 competitors at the games that you compete against. So the scoring, that's actually pretty slim, too. Oh, yeah, really small. You have a bad um, event. It, it's hard. Right, so this year you turn 16, so you're now in the new 16, 17. It's the same thing, but obviously, like, 14, 15 year olds going to 16 and 17 year olds, like, that's a big, big jump. jump. Yeah, that's a big, big jump. jump. Big. A lot of kids develop. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, tell us about that. So last year there was a lot of kids who didn't do it for the same reason that I wasn't going to do it, just because they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to. They didn't want to like I guess do the team division and just miss an opportunity, maybe see how far they can get in the region or whatever, see where okay. they're at in the region. Because I know that was kind of my goal. I was going to just see where I'm at in the region, see what I need to do, things I need to work on. But going to the teen route was obviously the best route. And then, so yeah, we have kids who did that last year coming to the teen route, and they're stepping up a lot. So there's a bunch of names that I haven't even seen up on the leaderboard. And, yeah, there's a bunch of fit kids this year, mm-hmm. a lot of fit. Well, um, you're also on the, the lower end of the curve of yeah. that. I mean, there's a big difference between – when you turn 16, by the time you're almost 18, like some of these kids are almost 18. Mm. So there's a lot of development that's still going to happen. Oh, and for so, sure. I remember playing any sport growing yeah. up. If I'm playing in like a 15 to 16 year old, like, like if you're, you know, if you're playing Bantams and, and hockey and you go to midget, it's like night and day difference how yeah. much bigger and faster, you know, the kids yeah. are. So yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I weighed 130 pounds my sophomore year and then my junior year I weighed 165. So it's like, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Some, you know, yeah, there's a, especially for some it's kids. Testosterone, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, good stuff, yeah, man. Free stuff. <laughs> free, free stuff. Free testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Um, so tell us about the experience at the games. Did you have any, you know, like what were some of your lowest placements? Did, what were some of the biggest challenges you had? Um, I Yeah, I love being at the games. Didn't ever think I'd get to actually compete there, mm-hmm. or at least for a long time. It'd be a long time before I thought I'd be there. And getting to go there was a huge deal for me, huge deal for my family. We were, we were excited. Yeah. So, yeah, just being out to – just because – we didn't go. We were gonna go the last year that he won 2014, but things just didn't play out. We didn't. We ended up just going, just going on a regular vacation. So mm-hmm. yeah. I was finally glad to go out there because I've never been out there, never been to California, never even been, um, what west of the Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, never even oh, been man. out there. So yeah. yeah, it was a big deal going out there, and then being there was just a great experience. Yeah, tons yeah. of. And then I had I had made some friends through social media mm-hmm. that like, um, like who, like uh, some of the other teens. Oh, okay. yeah, some of the other teens. Oh, they were cool. like four or five of the teens that I'd made, I'd made, made friends with. And we went out there, we got to finally meet. So that was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. The I love social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You see it. I mean, we, we become good friends through competition, you know, yep. that's actually how we met and became yeah. good, you know, had developed a good relationship and I've got a ton of friends from through competitions and oh, training yeah. that I, I will be friends with forever. I feel yeah. like, um, so this year, tell us uh, the story about how, <sighs> qualifying because you actually did qualify this year in the 16 yep. and 17 which is super impressive yeah. why don't you walk us through that so this year was a lot tougher yeah uh-huh. <laughs> a lot tougher uh numbers wise the placement wise it was hard like workout wise wasn't as hard as it looked mm-hmm. i was uh third workout almost kept me out just because i was three reps short of a top 10 i got 22nd if i got three more reps I would have been a top ten finish. It would have been no question. I would oh, have been wow. probably crazy. Probably would have finished fifth in the open somewhere up there. So uh, what the, was the third workout? The third again? workout was the, the power s- snatch. Yeah, and snatch, power muscle up. Right. Yeah, workout. I thought I would have done good on. Just kind of caught me off guard a little bit. Mm-hmm. Wasn't ready for it. And, was yeah. it the muscle ups that gave you the, the snatch? The snatches. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Yeah. Just shoulders went. Shoulders and grip just went. It was weird. How many rounds did you get on that? I have no idea. <laughs> no, a really. lot. <laughs> one, I got 103, so whatever that is. It's like yeah, seven so it's and change. still a good – I mean – It's a really good score. Yeah, it's still yeah. a good score. Yeah. It just is – like I said, it's just so competitive this year. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that one kind of almost kept me out. And so after the fourth week, I was in 11th, which was pretty stressful, yeah. yeah. I was texting these guys. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can do it. I go, this might, this, might, uh, this might be it. I might not be able to make it. And I talked to Darren, his cousin. He, He's like – uh, my main guy I go to because he's like he's kind of been my coach yeah. through all this, and he he had no doubt in me. He knew he knew I'd make it to the games. I said I don't know this this year might be pretty tough. I don't know if I can make it. He goes you're gonna make it to the games. He goes no way you're gonna miss the games. So after the four week, fourth week sitting in eleventh, and I woke up Monday morning or I did so I did sixteen point five on Friday, mm-hmm. pretty good score, but didn't know if it was good enough, and that was a stressful part. Didn't know if it was gonna be good enough. And just couldn't sleep, just so, so anxious. So Monday morning, I wake up, going to redo it anyway. Mm-hmm. Monday morning, wake up at about 5 or 6 a.m. I have a fever, oh, o- over no. 100. I have fever over 100. I walk upstairs, I'm like, Mom, I'm sick. Mm-hmm. And she's like, aren't you going to do that workout today? I'm like, yeah, I was going to. I go, I don't know if I need to. I might be able to squeeze in without redoing it. So I go to the doctor, and I get get some medicine, and I – I watched the leaderboard all day, watching it all day, and then I finally am like, I'm gonna have to do it. Mm-hmm. I go, it's close, and I don't want it. I don't want to be like 10 seconds away. 
So I show up at his house. I'm like, hey, let's do this thing. I want to go home and sleep. Like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go sleep for today, tomorrow, and the next day. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I get there, and he said – I wasn't going to redo it. <laughs> he wasn't going to redo it. I was like, I don't <laughs> care. I just got back from California, and I was like, I that workout was stupid. Oh, I'm that's right. Yeah. And, yep. I, was like, and I, I, start, I start warming up. He grabs me. I go, what are you doing? He's like, I'll do it with you. And so we both end up doing it. But he went. He got a lot better. I he did like a lot. Forty better. seconds faster yeah. than I. Yeah. And then, there. and then I got I got a lot better. I got like twenty one seconds. Yeah, just mm. enough. And yeah, squeezed my way in. It was close, but yeah. I squeezed in. And then tenth place. Home and slept. Do you yeah, think because place. you guys were you were working without working with Rich that that's how you got better at that work? I think or? so. Yeah, yeah. I think. And then the whole crew was there. So like, yeah. James is my judge. Uh, I think Dre was there. The afternoon uh, crew at the house was yep. there, Mike and all that. All the the regular crew was there, and power of the they, training environment. Yeah, quite yeah. the support crew. They knew yeah. they knew what I needed to do, and they all helped me through it. So yeah. I was yeah, I was happy. Yeah. How good did it feel when you were done? So bad, so <laughs> bad. <laughs> How good did yeah. it feel? It felt so bad. It felt <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I was so dehydrated, all cramped up, like laying on the floor. I've never felt like that. I never want to feel like that again. Because yeah, you were sick. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I then, can't imagine doing that. So like, fever. I hang around there and I'm like, I gotta go home. I'm leaving. We didn't <laughs> see him for like four days. Yeah. Oh yeah. I sl- I slept. Everybody's all like, day you, did it, you did it. You did it. You're like, I'm peace. Gone. Later. <laughs> <gone>. <laughs> slept all day Tuesday, and I go, maybe I'll start doing something else Wednesday. Slept all Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, I get up. I'm like, I kind of feel better. And I just stayed at home all day Thursday, and then Thursday night was the first day I worked out. Oh and man, it felt terrible. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was happy to make it. Yeah, man. So you were truly tested. And, oh yeah, you, know, you fought back. It's yeah. pretty awesome. Great story. Yeah. Rich, do you coach? Do you coach him at competitions, or will you coach I, him at? I the was games? just thinking about that. I didn't last year just because the games. I was like, you know, we we had Lakeland. I was just trying to get out of there as yeah. soon as I could. So this year, um, I'll probably hang out a little bit more try to help yeah. them out when I can. We get there a little earlier, too. So it just kind of depends on what, you know, yeah. our schedule is. I mean, you don't really have to do anything at regionals or anything like that. Right. So it will be a little bit different. Right. When did the teen uh, – when did the teen divisions compete at the game? Same time as the Masters. So the okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday leading up to the individuals in right the team. On. Right on. Yeah. Very so cool. what, do you, what do you like to do outside of working out? I mean, because you work out all the time. Like, do you have anything else? I mean, you're a young dude, like – it's uh, not a bad, girl, it's not a wrong answer if you, you don't yeah, do it. Yeah, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> There's a girlfriend <laughs> that he met in CrossFit <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> lives, she live in Iowa? Iowa, 10 hours away. Yes. Couples that wad together, stay together, it's yep. all good. So she's, <laughs> yeah. she does Olympic lifting though. Yeah, more. yeah, oh, okay. she's, a, she's a real good Olympic lifter. You, I mean, he lifted at the Nationals last yeah. year, right? So yeah. he plays at Nationals. So he does, he did an Olympic competition last year. Oh, so you at Youth Nationals. Yeah, Youth Nationals. Yeah, I did that. And then I was supposed to, she competed at Junior Nationals and I was supposed to compete but I ended up – I had a little little back issue, just tweaked. It wasn't anything bad. And so I just kind of skipped on that because it was so close to the open. I didn't mm-hmm. want to I didn't want to risk anything. Yeah. So I just went up there with her, and she set some new PRs. I think we're we're looking at collegiate nationals now, and she's – yeah, she's she's going to do good there, I think. Oh, she's yeah, older. She's older. Yeah, she's oh. a little bit older. She's a little bit older. <laughs> at the All time, right now. She All got right. her first muscle up in the open, right? Bar muscle up? Yeah. 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 Oh, very got cool. Got her first muscle up like two weeks before that. Got her first bar muscle up. And then just – she's just leaps and bounds away from where she was. Like, mm-hmm. I think me and her being together has helped her so much, helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. Because, one, um, I get to coach her a lot. She needs a lot of coaching. She's not – She's not like a be careful about what you say. I know, she's right? Not, That's why I'm going. Yeah. Be careful. She's not. She's not one of those people. She's not like. She doesn't need she's training partners. She yet, needs. But. She needs someone there. She needs someone there pushing her. Like sure. In the yeah. band, in the background, kind of. Yeah. So what he meant to say is he really enjoys coaching and hanging out with his wife, and they have a lot of commonality. <laughs> My wife, you know, girlfriend, girlfriend. girlfriend. But, Jeez. I'm Jeez. just trying to. We're all. Trying we're to, both brainwashed. Yeah. I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to help him out here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. That's funny. you don't say anything incriminating. Yeah, so she, you, you help her with CrossFit, or did she help? Uh, or did she help you with weightlifting, or how? She, that? yeah, she, she's helped me a lot with weightlifting because I'm not, I'm not good at, uh, at competing. I'm, I, I kind of get stressed out. She's, she's good. She gets a little stressed out too, but she's, she's good. She's good in the weightlifting aspect, and I'm not as good there with the high stress one lift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm better with the. High stress. Let's go really hard. Yeah, I'm, typical I like crossfitter. That. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. So uh, yeah, we met probably a month before the games. Mm-hmm. And then she came out and watched the games. And then the rest is history. Are you gonna give her a shout out? She'd probably go get mad if you don't <laughs> give her a shout out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kendall. Her name's Kendall. Kendall Beardsley. And yeah. yeah. So we've been together 
don't get, don't mess this up. Oh, don't mess this up. <laughs> nine and a half oh, months, I, ten months. Oh, change. it's eight months. Okay, okay. okay. you're okay. Yeah, yeah, right. Ten months. It's not even a year. Not a year yet. Close. Close. I thought we were going to close. I thought we were going to have to change the subject real quick, man. That's so funny. I was, I was doing that by time. No, I knew, I knew it was nine months. I think, yeah, definitely nine months. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Keep talking to it. Okay. Definitely. That's, that's all I'm saying. That's all I got. Post yeah. this. That's all I got on that. So, like, that's what so up? Like, do you like to, like, in your free time, you like to play um, other sports or? Like yeah, play? we play. Well, we play. I like spike ball a lot. Spike ball yeah. probably. Yes, I brought mine. Yeah. I like spike Sorry, ball. I got excited. We haven't been playing that a lot lately just because it's, it's regionals. Crunch time. Yeah, it's we got to. We got to do. Do you ever play hockey with this dude? No, I don't play <laughs> hockey. I don't know. We try to get him to. Yeah. He's just too scared. I don't know. I, I just don't like He's afraid of getting hurt. Come on, we, man. We went and played the other night, and I witnessed the greatest. You know what? I want you to tell a story. <laughs> Maybe it's, Rich, yeah, can you tell Rich, the story? Rich, tell the story, because it the, involves CTP. CTP the, the, behind the camera Legend there. of the greatest the legend, hockey player of all time. The legend was born 100%. that night. 100%. <laughs> Please tell us. So I got the I don't know. I don't even know how I got the puck, where I got the puck. It was just past half court because we don't do blue lines. We just have one half court. And so I'm kind of not by myself. I guess I am. A little yeah, bit of a breakaway. A little yeah, bit of a breakaway. breakaway. You and so on D. Uh, skate up to the goalie, little wrister, bounces off. CTP's there to clean up the garbage. And literally, <laughs> what? This guy. Full, this one guy. minute before that, he's he's skating around yeah. filming. He's like, you know what? I think I'll give this hockey thing a chance. And <laughs> let me let me come out there, guys. And so we give him yeah. a stick. Literally gets on the floor as I'm get, grabbing the seconds. puck. Yeah. Ten seconds into playing, he goes out and he scores, and this entire <laughs> place went nuts. nuts. Yeah. It was nuts. so funny. <laughs> Get out of the game! Oh, Get out of the game! What just happened? I don't know. Can you give me the play by play on what happened you know, earlier? Uh, all, so, <laughs> if there was a blue line, it would be around the blue line, maybe a little past the blue line. Dustin, Dustin. That puck right that there. Puck. Yeah, keep that puck, you sign it. <laughs> Went in, right. went in for a shot, and uh, CTP cleaned up the goal there. And, and uh, on his first shot, first shot, one goal. First 12 seconds, goal. And then he walked off and rode off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Fame right there. Give it to Chris! Oh, He was like scoring by like two seconds to get it. Video is on yeah. my Instagram and also on his Instagram. I but think another thing too is like, uh, we I think people listeners out there think, okay, this is just like a pickup gang of hockey. Y'all threw on the full regalia. <laughs> I, I walk <laughs> regalia. Yeah, Rich tried to downplay. He's like, oh yeah, we're about, we're gonna play hockey, and uh, it's just a couple of dudes. And nobody knows what nobody knows what they're doing. Me and Kurt, we're sitting there watching you guys put on like shin guards and pads, and we're like, this hurt. ain't the same for me right now. <laughs> it's like it looks like the NHL out there. <laughs> and oh then man. CTP. Turn loosely, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you've never watched before, so yeah. Um, it's 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 viewed a little differently, but yeah. but yeah. I mean, it, it was a blast. It's the first time I played in like four years, and you know it's what? Like, time. I wouldn't have played if I hadn't come up and hung out. And when we had messaged each other, I was like, "Hey, I'm coming up. Should I bring my gear?" And you were like, "Oh yeah, we're playing." <laughs> and I was almost gear. asking just like as a joke, but I was like, "Okay, man, I have to go to my attic and get my stuff out." Yeah. It was so much fun. It's we had a so blast. much fun. And and for the most part, everybody there's pretty laid back, and you know, we just yeah. just there to have some fun. Like I've said before, it's, I think it's some of my best conditioning sessions. I mean, oh, I think smoke. You're, just, you're done. Like I you was, just can't. Yeah. Oh hey, hey Jake. That just. Who's making all that I racket? Mean, one of the tenets yeah. of CrossFit Trying is to like, sleep I up here. play new sports. Play new sports. You know what, yeah. you're right. And, uh, I used, I stopped playing for a while, to be honest, because I was so worried about training. Hurt. And I don't get hurt. Yeah, how's it going to affect like, my training? Yeah. I mean, you can't always control that. You can get hurt in training. So yeah, that's, exactly. You know, that's obviously why. not being stupid, but right. Um, right. it was just so much fun. When when is like you, you haven't been you haven't been injured in a while. Like, Knock on wood. Yeah. I haven't had any serious injuries. Yeah. I mean, I had shoulder surgery when I was in high school, but that wasn't from CrossFit. Tweaked my back a little bit after the 2010 games, but yeah. nothing, nothing. I mean, everybody has, like I've always said, you always, you have one gremlin that kind of moves around. Like, right. it's nothing major, but it's always just kind of aching. What's like, kind of, Doug what's, Larson says what's, that. What's moves your from gremlin? your shoulder to your knee. Oh, like, the, it always, like, bounces the around. conservation ankle. of pain. Conservation yeah. of pain. Yeah. Doug, Doug said that once. He's right. like, pain never leaves the body. It just goes from it one goes, place yeah, to another. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what's kind of your gremlin? Uh, My right knee, if I sit in flexion for too long, like yeah. in a back seat. Oh, it literally man. feels like it wants to explode. It's right just my right knee. Yeah, it's right yeah, my right too. knee. Yeah. And then uh, my shoulders, just every once in a while. I, one thing I figured out, like I was having 
awful shoulder pain. Like any any time I'd hold anything overhead, awful. My wife bought a before this, prefacing this, um, she bought a pillow top like roll out, you know, one of those like eggshell, like mm-hmm. thicker than eggshell memory foam things. And so she bought that a couple months before, and so I noticed after a couple months i was like man my shoulders hurt and like and i was laying in bed and i just felt like my shoulders yeah. were like caving in yeah. so the one night i took it off rolled it up she's got double on her side and now i don't have any shoulder pain went away the next day it was it was crazy so yeah. i've uh, had i'll oh, go ahead sorry that was that's all i had that's done okay, I've, yeah i've had a lot of clients that would say like man they woke up and say man i've got really bad achy shoulders like something we did in training and i'm like um, make sure it's not the sleep, you know, like, are you yeah. sleeping on yeah, the side? Sleep and wake up? Cause I've done that too. I woke up and been like, God, like training. I look at it and I'm like, I didn't do anything. Didn't like, do anything. Yeah. 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 Why well, slept on it and it's done that. Well, we also learned that you're unbreakable. I mean, <laughs> yeah. cause <laughs> bone density. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bone bone density. Density. yeah. You, you got your, you got a DEXA scan DEXA pretty scan recently this weekend. Yeah. yeah. And what were some of the, like, what was your body uh, fat? I was 11, 11, two. Uh, 11 most two. of my body fat is held in my quads. Apparently, um, my right arm is smaller than my left arm. What else was there? What was else yeah. bef- besides the the bone density was like off the charts? Like I think the what we were looking at like yeah the, I think it was for the ninety nine percentile it was like one per one, one per like one, point one something yeah 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 your Z there was a Z score yeah yeah and it was like one and yours was like four point eight yeah and like <laughs> Hewitt Hewitt's on our team who's two point five his yeah. his bone density or whatever was two point five yeah and mine was four point eight so, yeah, so a thick dude Adam, too adamantium yeah basically Bruce Willis adamantium adamantium <laughs> Um, and you say your body fat was eleven point two. Eleven two. Yeah. So it's people. That's people Dexa. Yeah. People think that I guess you're like leaner than that. Like yeah. Your number is yeah, lower. But I think but you still yeah. have to. You have to have some fat to, yeah. to do what do what we do. And yeah. You know, I think some. You look at like skin calipers and stuff like that, but there's the measurement area error on that stuff is is so high. Yeah. When, like, when, I, when I calculate with those, I'm not necessarily doing it to like find a specific like, percentage. It's point A to point B. I yep. want to I want to measure the change. The change. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Right. Right. Percent change. Yeah. What 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 are some of the things that you've been doing? I guess for recovery or. Oh uh, man, I think honestly, I think sleep is for me has always been the the biggest part of of my recovery because I don't do a ton of. Luckily, we have a chiropractor that. Anytime we text him, like, hey, bro, I need something. Yeah. Right there. His wife's a massage therapist, so yeah. anytime we need something, she's right there. But, you know, as far as mm-hmm. just, like, you know, I don't do any of the cryotherapy or do a ton of ice baths or anything like that. I mm-hmm. think the the biggest thing for me has always been sleep. Mm-hmm. However, I'm not getting a ton of sleep anymore because I have a two-year-old. Dad, dad. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> likes to kick me in the face. In the <laughs> and I, like karate kicked me in the face, so. Yeah. You know, but it's part of it, and, uh. Whatever. Man, I had some experience with that. You know, we got a new puppy a few months back, and uh, I, I sometimes I think kids or puppies are harder than kids. Sometimes. Someone told me that. I, I mean, I think they're just being nice. I've, no, I've had two puppies and a kid, and sometimes the dogs are harder than the kid. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Angela, what about you? You uh, do you have anything that you want to? Any kids? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you have anything that you want to share, like plug or people you want to thank. That help with your training. Your parents. Your mom. Yeah, mom's yeah. coming up Mother's your Day. Mom, your mom's, your mom's going to watch this, yeah. by the way. I love you, Mom. My may mom. not be out by Mother's Day, but. I guess my mom's the only reason I'm on here. Because she said yes. <laughs> she said it was okay. She said it was okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did call. We had a nice conversation. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Any sponsors or anything? Anybody help you out? Look down on your chest. Yeah. Fit Aid helps me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I do. I do love Fit Aid a lot. They've sent me. Anything I want, just yeah, yeah, just anything I need. I message Aaron; he's usually my guy. He goes my go-to. Oh yeah, Aaron. We know Aaron, Aaron, yep, yeah, yeah. good Aaron. friends with all them. Yep. Great people. Oh yeah, I love those guys. Yeah, they're great. They help me out at the games. At the games, I'm like, hey, I'm pretty tired. They're like, oh, we got a couch in the back. You want to come sit down? Yeah. No, we've and been then, back there. And then <laughs> Wadapalooza, same deal. Go back there, sit down. It's nice. Yeah, I That's like those cool. guys. Awesome. What about you, Rich? Normal. Got uh, Rogue. Where do we start? Rogue, Reebok, Reband. <laughs> uh, what else I got? Advocare. It's yeah. great. Um, get to go to NASCAR races with them, so it's fun. Oh, um, awesome. Where can we find? Where can we find Rich Froning? Where can like you find on, Rich on, Froning online? Uh, at Rich Froning, I think is both my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, I I gotta figure out my Snapchat. I think it's Froning dot Rich or something like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like somebody had already stolen Rich Froning at that point. <laughs> um, I think CTP is looking it up. If you wanna you wanna see what we do day to day, we have uh, What's Rich doing. You can check that out on CrossFitMayhem dot com. Um, if you wanna come train with us for a weekend, we actually got one of those coming up this weekend. Mm-hmm. Literally, we it's what it says: train with Rich. Mm-hmm. And so we literally Friday night people come in, hang out, we work out a couple times, and then. 
do a little barbecue, nice. work out, work out all day Saturday, yeah. work out in the morning Sunday, have some fun. So it's it's been this will be our third one, and we've we've had a, a good time with it. So very cool, out. very cool, very Angelo. Cool. What about you? You on social media? Yeah, Angelo underscore to Chico is my is my Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's my Instagram. So Angelo, it's on the shirt, right? D I oh yeah, there you go. C C O. D I C I C C O. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and then uh, Chico was his name. Twitter is Angelo underscore, and then D. This one's a little bit easier. D C H I C O. D T Chico. So just as you say it, D Chico. Oh, got it. Yeah. Cool. Uh -huh. Cool. Cool. Hey, anyway, basically, so we, uh, we talked show. about the, the strength the test. Strength test. Strength Today test. we launched it. We've been working on this new thing, uh, our Barber Shrug Crew, called the Shrug Strength Test. And it's a three day test that we built. It's a bunch of different exercises. Um, I bet you can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge. The, the gloves, the gloves have been thrown. Gloves are off. Yeah. Three days, you take the test. How many times does it take you to clean 3D? Oh, <laughs> I was doing clean. Trap slap. I was doing clean pulls. Oh, this okay. guy slapped me on the back, which I've never done before, and I highly recommend it because I went white. I was like, Ugh! it was crazy. <laughs> it could, I couldn't believe it worked. Seven times later, but yeah, it worked. We got it. Um, so yeah, the stroke strength test. Three days of test. <laughs> Four or five movements each day. No, five or six movements each day. Uh, go through the movements. We have uh, go to strokestrengthtest.com. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Slow down. Strukstrengthtest.com. You can do it seven times. We'll show you. Yes, yeah, <laughs> seven times to try. <laughs> we got movements. We got videos on there that show you how to do each movement. After you get done with it, we've got an easy page for you to fill out all your results. Once you do that, we send you a big package with all this feedback uh, based on which weight class you're in, and then some ideas on what you th what we think you can do to get better at them. Yeah. So it's really cool. It's a lot of good information, and it's absolutely free. So check it out. Shrugstrengthtest.com. I really want to see if Rich will do it, though. <laughs> It'd be interesting. I'm, I'm being honest. Yeah. I don't know if he can. Well, well, actually, well, this is a side note, but one of my my can't. coach, uh, Zach Greenwald, he, he plugs some of your numbers into his, like, spreadsheet. He does mm -hmm. a lot about strength ratios. He actually said that you were, like, the most balanced oh, strength-wise, nice. and everything is – your overhead squat apparently is your best lift. Like, what's your yes. overhead squat? Best, I think 380 was yeah. the most we've ever done. And he said like nine, everything was 90% of that, which oh, is nice. insane. Hey, uh, cool. And for your best overhead, best lift to be the overhead squat is insane. It's kind of it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Extremely so, efficient. Yeah. 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 So. So. Very cool, guys. Very cool. Well, Angela, man. Yeah. What are, you did yeah. great, man. You we did great podcast. Dude, Thank yeah, you so dude. much for coming on. Really. Right yeah, on. Thank you again. Thank you, guys. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye.